have here. We're talking about his professional standing, his job. Yeah, I know this. Well, I, I really don't know what happened. Um, I, I know that seems a little naive for a senior lecturer at a university, but it just escapes me how it got so out of hand. I mean, he's a brilliant teacher. He just has some unorthodox techniques, that's all. To be honest, I think that Mary was threatened into acting <laughs> oh, the way that she did. Hold on, he can come on very strong in these yeah, situations. Yeah, well, so can she. I reported the facts as I saw them. I haven't over-exaggerated anything. I haven't lied about anything. I haven't tried to ruin some person's career. He was out of line. And that was that. Go, no, no, Richard! No, I, I was demonstrating a technique they may find useful in their career. Oh, don't give me no, that shit. This girl obviously developed a crush on me. I, and when I didn't respond, she went to the department with this ridiculous jump Would up Would you just crush. stop it? I know what you did. You took full advantage of her. You are pathetic. You can't even deny it, can you? Just trying to get the facts of the situation. Yeah? Are you saying that uh, you did reciprocate Mr. Elliot's affections, but then things got out of hand? So... No. no. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that Richard, Mr. Elliot, is in a position of trust at this university and overstepped his professional code of conduct in his dealings with me. It's completely unethical behaviour. And I don't want this to happen again to me or to anyone else here. Well, I appreciate your concerns, Miss, uh, Miss McKenzie. But I hope you understand the severity of the charges you've made. his life here. We're talking about his professional standing, his job. Yeah, I know this. This is really painful for me and I I was advised to come to speak to you by student services. I shouldn't be the one that's being persecuted for this. I haven't done anything wrong. It's it's not my intention to persecute you. It is my job, it is my duty to assess the facts in this situation. Were you having a relationship with Mr. Elliot? No. This thing with Richard's turned into a bloody witch hunt all around. Uh, I don't know why two consenting adults or two people of an adult age can't just say, look, the girl can't just say, no, I'm not interested in this, and just like, move on, leave it at that, you know, finish it, over. But no, we have to drag the whole of admin through this, and uh, we all know that Richard's career has gone down the gurgler. And I'm just glad <laughs> that uh, some of my ex students are, are just that, you know, ex, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a joke. Well done, guys. Thank it was you. great. I was so proud. Oh, thanks. Well, it's all thanks to you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you coming to the pub? Yeah, uh, off you go. Yeah. I'll see you at home. Yeah. Yeah. Love to see you later. Okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's drama school. That's what you have to, you know, push people into places they wouldn't normally go. But uh, no, you got, you got a passion. But you also exposed her, her, her vulnerability. 
I really felt her despair tonight when Macbeth doesn't include her anymore in his plans. When they'd worked together, they were so powerful. But later, he acts on his own. Classic case of a relationship breakdown. Really? So do you do this with all your leading ladies, <laughs> Mr. Elliot? <laughs> no, just the ones with ambition. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, vaulting ambition overleaps itself and falls on the other. <laughs> stupid class exercise. That's all it was. It didn't actually mean anything. Overstepping that student-teacher boundary. If you're going to be an actor, this is what you have to do. He shouldn't have done it. He got exactly what he deserved. And that's what he was demonstrating, and he just demonstrated that. But, you know... I mean, it's sad for her. I'm sorry that she's left. It was a class exercise. That's all it was. Yeah, the whole world's so bloody politically correct these days, you can't do anything. I mean, let's face it, we all think the thoughts, don't we, eh? I'm only human, but, um... <laughs> Unfortunately for me, it's only window shopping these days. It's a joke. I don't know, I guess a part of me thought that he might. You know, the temptation's there all the time, isn't it? He threw away everything. You know, he chose to do it. He, he made a choice. And now he's just going to have to live with that choice. He just can't treat people like that. It's totally unprofessional behaviour. The man is my teacher. Many of the world's actors have, uh, have an inner conflict which makes them so compelling on screen. Sorry, can I ask a question? Mm. Um, but how can he truthfully play this inner conflict without being, like, totally fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have a point there. Stanislavski would suggest finding an inner obstacle for the character. Well, like, what? OK, um, let's try something. I want uh, two guinea pigs, a love scene, to kiss. Come on, two people, boy and a girl, up here. Come on, guys, somebody. I mean, you may be called upon to do this some, at some stage. Yeah. OK. As I was saying, a, a love scene states that a couple kiss, but um, rather than launching into a, a, a romantic kiss in a gung-ho manner, it's good to make the kiss cost something. Before an action like that, it's good to think of all the reasons not to kiss, and therefore creating an, an, an inner conflict. I'm afraid we're asking you to resign, Richard. 